Diver dismounts and takes the horse's hat with her. You like my new hat? I got it from Sammy. You did not. Yes, I did. You did not. You did not. I got it from that horse. What did you? Oh, I knew I got it from some member of your family. I'm sorry, Johnny. You're right. Her family's not horses. They're pigs. What? Oh, them fighting words. Godiva follows that total insult with a full Nelson. Sammy, the farmer's daughter, here's a girl who brags about wrestling pigs and cows and donkeys on a farm. Ooh, no culture or class or refinement. I'm sure she's filthy as the little pigs that she brags about wrestling. I hardly want to touch her, but I'll touch her long enough to take her out of the ring. And out in the cheerleader role. Godiva has yet to make many friends in America, and I have a feeling the problem is her mouth. It's always open. I and Glow fans mow them out like Morgan, monitoring moves and maneuvers for this raucous ring round. Godiva going for a pin, but the scuffling gal turns it into a head scissor. Both grapplers are very adept at using the feet, expecting this match to have a lot of soul. The Briton bites her way free. She's not above bending the rules. And now she tries to bend Sally's neck. Inward. The girl from Coventry has the weight advantage in this one. Though she and Anoshka have been putting on the pounds recently. But maybe I'm being too harsh. They are foreigners, so I guess when they see a sign saying, all you can eat, they really take it to heart. And speaking of the beefy Bolshevik, she'll be tested as never before next week when she faces the Park Avenue knockout Rock Siasta with a glow crown on the line. Now the British bombshell hauls are up. And flings her into the turnbuckle. A stomp to the gut stuns the farm girl, the Nebraskan gasping for air, and the Briton sets and charges in. With the Buckingham belt, she really plowed into the farmer's daughter. Her brain covering up any illegal activity, she chokes her. And now, going to inflict more punishment with that hair pull. The referee trying to see around Godiva. Those extra pounds really help her to shield her attack. And he spots the infraction, warning the Coventry girl to break it up. Both she and her sister are really game competitors. And Sally's hunting big game here. She holds Godiva up and sends her into the corner. Then leaps onto her and catches her with a big monkey toss. That Sally comes after you like a little tank and Godiva is shell-shocked. Sally's going for a pin. No, she reverses. And Sally returns the favor. Whoop, the Briton escapes. Going for the legs, trying to roll her up. Nope, warn it again. Each girl missing that three count to end it. But Goliva doesn't miss with that right. She wraps her up and takes her down. The farmer's daughter, watching her poor arm in pain. An injury could turn this match into a cakewalk for Goliva. And the Briton pulls the Nebraskan up for some just desserts. Whoa, slamming her down hard. That injury seems to have taken the steam right out of the farmer's daughter. And Goliva is right on her. Pulling her up by that sore arm. She hurls her into the corner, but even with that bad arm, Sally's feet can do the job. Spinning a bow around, trying to lock her up. She struggles. The farm girl is riding high and takes her over in the farm of roll. And Godiva takes a bumpy ride. She may have landed on her head. The scuffling gal on her feet. A little square dance on her belly. Sally taking over. The momentum clearly on her side. She pulls her opponent up. Irish whip. No, a reversal. She springs off the ropes and now into a sunset flip. The force pulling Godiva over into the pin. Yes, and she takes the match with quick application of that sunset flip. She showed Godiva she was a forcing round.
Thank you.